a statement that is essentially intended to teach your personal mission statement. At least right now, it could change. Again, six months you don't know what you're going through. It might not be as much as you brought to expect. But at this very moment, I'll say it's not been forever since no. I had a current mission So before I start, I'll say that when I went through all of these, I was just, there were like, these are things that I was kind of already thinking about, so it was top of mind. And then when I put it all together and did the statement, I was like, oh, this makes perfect sense. Like, I understand. So my statement says, I will be honest in love and how I love using my happy, wait, using my ability to start um, and stand firm in things that I believe in to achieve pure happiness and to also achieve opportunities to support and help others. And so, like, based on, like, the place that I am in my life now, like, I'm really, like, driven to, like, help the students that I serve, the families I serve, and the people that I serve. But I also want to do it in a way that makes me happy and that fulfills me. And so when I read that statement back, I was just like, damn, this is good. <laughs> this makes sense. So um, I really enjoyed this. I'm, I can't wait to go home and tell all my friends. Get on FaceTime right now because I have an extra time here. So thank you for that. Um, in true teacher form, I'm going to popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> I will exercise using my compassion to achieve marriage. Also, what is it? Also, in, in doing so, to achieve world peace. Yes. Okay. And also doing so. Is that the last one? Yeah. To achieve. Okay. I will exercise. Yeah, exercise using my compassion to achieve marriage and also doing so to achieve world peace. World peace. Exercise, if you do it, if you've done it, you know it's gonna do things to you that are gonna make you feel good in the end. It don't feel good in the beginning, it don't feel good in the midst, but it feels good in the end. That's, that's good to your body. You probably need to show yourself more compassion. I know I, I, need, to, I need to show myself more compassion. And you probably, when you show yourself more compassion, that's gonna open you up for your husband to see what a loving, compassionate, and fit lady you are. Okay, you don't gotta be fit. If you don't wanna be fit, you don't gotta be fit. But if you wanna be fit, and your husband, your husband, your future husband, because he's out there, when he sees the beautiful person that you are and that you're becoming, he's gonna be like, I need to take it off the shelf and put it in the bag. That's me, okay? That's me. And the world peace, you know, it might be just peace in your world, your inner peace, you know, in your world of peace. Our world peace, I don't know about that. But, yeah, I need peace. I don't have it. I don't have it. So if it's just world peace in your world, my world, our world, that's world peace. Okay, amen. <laughs> it makes sense. So I can't do the exercise, but I put on one. Okay. Go on, so Rick. what you said about wanting to be more yourself, so I got this mentor named D. Watkins, and being under him for all these years, I realized that he himself went like, way yet. And that's what I want to be more like him. I was like, I want to be more like myself. And when I started doing that, I literally started getting more gigs, feeling better about myself, right? And it's like, I want to do that even more. Because there be certain space sometimes where I'm like, 
be going back and it's like, ah, uh, nigga, like, you went in with and you got this, so why not keep going? With this? Like, we clash with ourselves, you know what I mean? We be running away from you, we need to go in with it. You change, you get running, it's gonna always catch up to you. Always. So it's like, when you said it, I'm thinking, I wanna do more of that. I wanna just keep being more loud, reckless, happy, sad, whatever the fuck. I just wanna say it and you gonna carry it every one character, it ain't got nothing to do with it. That's something to do with how you react to it. Amen. Amen. Remind me your name. Connie. Connie. Amen. Seriously. It's something important to me. And I think it's hard. It's easy, but when you do it, you really feel you feel what I'm talking about. Where what you want, go where you want, and more money, more, you know what I mean? Like you just go be you. I love it. I feel you. Honestly, it is hard. Like the world doesn't want you to be yourself, especially the world that we live in, the people that we are. There's not a lot of space for that. And to make space and to take space, that's that's a high order. It's a tall order. And so it's important to me. I feel like I've gotten farther being myself and not being myself. I mean, for me, my stuff is definitely back. Those step back for something that can propel me further. So Are you talking about it will help you because people need tangible. Like we can talk about Jay Z. Who fucking know Jay Z? That's like non tangible. But it was a guy that grew up in the neighborhood, or somebody like you, that's saying, this is how I get here, you go with us being free, or these black girls, and you're like, okay, that's fine, I can be free too, you know what I mean? So, and then, and then, you, and then you have more space to hold yourself accountable. So then you feel like, being yourself doesn't mean just doing whatever you want, it's not giving a fuck, it means being the best version of yourself, right. and that still requires you to be best thoughtful and reflective right. and iterative, so that yourself is always evolving, yourself could change. You might look up and be like, I don't even know who I am in this but yeah. I like that. I feel good as I'm doing yeah. right for So it's always, it's, it's, it's for sure a process, it's for sure a journey, but it's one that's right there, it's probably what it's kind of boring. Okay, so my saying here is, it, I will meditate using my kindness to achieve presence and in doing so also achieve using my time as I want. That makes sense. A lot of years. You said when? Uh, as I want. want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I like this exercise. I'm going to take it to my friends. Yeah, have everybody. Yeah. Um, some of the questions you ask are in the G section. So for me, as I was watching it, I was like, I use the G section like that. Like when I'm in the heat of work that is very hard to do, I'll just keep those questions near me and just be asking myself every hour to keep myself going. Like, what's the purpose of my work? Why am I doing this? Where is it going to take me? Like, all of those. What do I want out of this shit? I have like sticky notes where I have like 30 other doctors I look up to from those kinds of questions. Like me just answering them on sticky. Or I have a list of all my students' names that I'm doing this work for. Just for me reminding myself why I'm doing it. So, love what you did tonight. Everybody, please give her a big hand because it's very, very powerful. I'm not lying. I'm texting out to find that person. Yep. Empirical base, definitely. Again, those are strategies in the guide, so it's definitely backed by research answering questions like that in a rapid way. And I just want to thank you again because it, it was unique. We haven't had a session like that before and I hope that you come back more. Absolutely. Give us a more flower.